Well, hello once again from makingmoneyfromjunk.com. I've got a question on the YouTube there from uh, one of the subscribers, Mr. Eight-Legged Freak. He made a comment on one of my videos, and he says, How do you know if the part is real gold or just painted gold metal or something? Well, that's a, it's a great question, and so I wanted to go through that a little bit today with you and show you some of the parts that I've picked out over the last few days I've uh, been thinking about this one. It's really a, a good question. Well, everybody knows these kinds of uh, parts right here. So we're going to start with this because it's something real common. It's called a gold-fingered card in the ring. reason is because these are little fingers that stick out. They would go down into a slot in the computer motherboard. And uh, these are gold-fingered. Well, we know that this is gold, so that helps a lot because we just know it because it's been identified there and it's called a gold finger card. So we have that as a color reference. So one of the things we're going to do is we're going to reference some other things against that. So let's take this piece. Now this is a, a, a part that's got a whole bunch of little pins on it. Well, again, we know that that gold is the same thing. If we look, the color is a little bit different. And the reason it's different is because it's a different thickness. And that's really why. Uh, the, the, these, this particular card is probably a lot newer. It's probably not quite as thick a gold. But are they both gold? Yes. Are they both 24 karat gold? Yes. Uh, what's the difference? It's the thickness of the plating. Because this is just plating that goes on top of, typically on all this, where it's going to be gold and then there's going to be nickel and then there's going to be copper underneath all of that. So that's actually quite a bit of uh, different metals and it just depends on the thickness of the plating. That's why you see a little deeper, darker yellow on this, a, a more gold color. So let's look at some other things. In one of the other videos, I had uh, pulled out one of these little things. It's a little counter, and I haven't pulled this one apart, but you can watch the other videos, and it shows in there. There's a real nice card in there full of gold. Well, how do we know that these are gold? Well, because this is solder connection on here, and uh, if there's a solder connection, then it's going to be gold there. It's certainly not going to be gold paint. It will be gold that you're, you're seeing because the solder connects very well with gold. That's why gold is used. Uh, let's take a, a vintage card here. This one, if you uh, look at that, the fingers on that one as opposed to one of the, the new ones. And again, the, the colors I'm hoping are coming out on the video here. Uh, we got the sun shining and getting a lot of nice brightness. But uh, I think you can tell the difference in the color. And you can see that the vintage card is much darker and richer looking. And uh, if it's real shiny, it means it's probably not very much gold, to be honest with you. Uh, real gold is not terribly shiny, shiny, shiny. So um, what about these little pins? Well, again, yes, all these little pins we know are going to connect to something. And they're an electrical connection. So guess what? We know they're going to be gold. So all of these are going to be pins that have gold on them. Uh, another vintage piece over here. This um, You can see these little test points in here. Are they going to be gold? Well, they're soldered and they're nice looking yellow. Guess what? We know they're gold. How about this underneath here? This uh, Underneath this transformer, the bottom of that looks to be gold and the legs look like gold. Well, that's because they are. Uh, that's what it's all about. Um, there's nothing else really exciting on that particular board. Even the pins, the fingers here on this one, if you look, these are not gold. This is a, a very interesting type of old, very old board. It's pre-gold being on there, I guess. Anyway, um, another vintage card. Let me let you guess. The fingers. Uh, you're right, they're gold. What about these right here? Now, these are connectors that come off of a relay inside here. Are these all gold? Well, probably so. Gold-plated, of course. When we say gold, we're talking about gold-plated. We're not talking about solid gold but they are plated in 24 karat gold. Up inside this relay, also a lot of different pieces that look gold-ish, gold-colored. Are they gold, brass, or what? Well, they're going to probably be gold-plated because they're in a moving relay. Part of how you can know is because of what it does. And let's look at that real quick. Now, if you look at this color, if you can tell the coloring very well on the video, you can see that this color of this piece, and you know that that's just a plumbing fixture, and it looks very much like, in all the different colors, it looks like this real gold that we know is gold, good solid gold in there. But you know what? After you look at it just a little bit, you can tell there's a difference. I can't really describe the difference, but go grab a, a gold-fingered card and go grab a plumbing fixture yourself and just stick them up there and take a look at it. And you can just tell they, there's something about it. It's not 
quite right. I mean, it's almost the same color. It just doesn't look as rich. It's just not as pure when it's brass. And that's how you know with the brass. Now, I, I did find a couple of connectors that I, <laughs> I was really fooled. I mean, it's just about as close to the exact same color as you can get right here. And I, I would have said, oh, that's got to be gold, except that my logic kicked in. And I said, hey, that's a screw head. And you know what? That's probably not. It's probably just brass. And if you look at the whole, the whole thing, you know that that's not going to be gold-plated. There's just no reason for it to be. It's a screw. Screws don't need to be gold-plated for any reason. Gold-plated needs electrical connection. So that's one of the big key pieces. Also, one way that I figured this out was, was this uh, anything good gold or not? Guess what? It attaches to the magnet, like most screws, and so uh, that's just painted, or it might be plated in some fashion, but it's certainly not pure brass either. Uh, different connectors, different things. I mean, we could go through these little tests. I could ask you a thousand times, and, you know, is this is this gold? Well, sure, it's a gold finger. It came off a connector between two pieces. Yes, that's gold finger. Uh, what about this right here? These are... Uh, wires that come off of the the bottom of the uh, this transistor here. These older transistors have solder on them. Are they gold? Yes, of course. Now you're getting the idea. You're passing the test every time, aren't you? Uh, you? You know the right answer. Is that gold down there in the bottom? If you can see um, down there on the bottom of that transistor. Yes, again, that's true. Well, what about these little nuts over here? They look to be about the same color. Nah, of course nuts aren't gold-plated. I mean, they are very rarely on some of the real fancy, super fancy things, but it's pretty rare. So, um, you know, that's not going to be anything but just uh, brass or iron or something. Now, the same thing's true here. There's a whole bunch of little bitty connectors here on this board, and they're all brass-looking or gold-looking or, you know, they're all that same similar kind of yellowish color. How do we know if they're real gold or what? Well, come on, they're all these little turny things, and they had little knobs on them, and each one of them had a, a thing that turned. These are not going to be gold. These are going to be just brass. And so we check them with our magnet, and if they aren't magnetic, then we can put them in our brass bucket, and we can go from there. Um, well, one last, no, i got two more things. Real quick here, we're going to be done. Um, this is a little battery charger. Um, this one happens to be a one that plugs into 220 volts, but... Um, Inside, there were connectors that would connect to the battery. Are these gold-plated? Well, yes, it's electrical connection, and there's solder, and, and, and. I mean, that tells you those are gold-plated connectors. Great stuff right there. Put them in your bucket. One last thing I wanted to show you real quick. Because this had brass on it, and uh, these brass connectors had the screws. This is a little LCD, uh, LED, LCD, I'll get it right, uh, screen here. And um, these had brass connectors. And here's the nice thing, is when I popped it open, I found not only a little bit of gold connector here, where it was connected in, but also if you look around, the gold trace on this board is really nice. And I wanted to show you this because the color, I think, is going to show about the same on the brass fittings and on the, on the gold trim. And, you know, it's hard to know the difference, except when you look at it, you go, hey, this is a screw fitting, and this is some sort of electrical something. And so you know that this is going to be gold and this is going to be brass. Well, I think you've learned a lot today about uh, you know, what it is and uh, how do you know the difference if it's real gold or painted gold or just metal or something. Well, there's never painted gold in an electrical connection. Every electrical connection that looks gold is 24 karat gold plated. It's usually plated over nickel, over copper, but it's 24 karat gold plated. That's the stuff you're after. That's what you want to grab as much of it as you can. And you get that refined into the nice little nuggets. Well, this has uh, been uh, Making Money from Junk.com. Appreciate you uh, watching yet once again. Everybody's buying the ebook, and appreciate that. We look forward to seeing you next time on our next video, Making Money from Junk.com.